Yo, 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 guys. How are we doing today? Bipolar Barbie, if you don't know. Um, and if you don't know, like, you really should. Seriously. You don't know who I am? It's me. B. And today, we're actually talking about something really important. Really, really important if you suffer depression or, like, chronic fatigue, exhaustion, state of melancholy, whatever. And I think just everyone in general. We're talking about blood. We're talking about vitamin B12 and the importance of that. No. You need to get a drink, buddy. He's just eaten like all this yogurt. So now I've got to open the door for him. You're kind of ruining the video, Northy. Yeah, fully ruin it. Anyway, so I went to the doctor the other day and I got like some routine blood tests that I'd been putting off for like ages like I had the blood test referral for a good six months never got it done and I really should have because I went in there for like a bunch of other reasons for my asthma because I couldn't breathe and then he's like oh by the way those blood test results there's like some good and bad news he's like the good news is your liver and your kidneys and your serotonin like well not your serotonin levels he didn't say that but he's like your hormones your thyroid he's like everything like every organ in your body is actually doing really well he's like i'm super surprised about how healthy the organs are in your body which apparently is surprising considering the different like it's nighttime and my computer screensaver just came on that's why it just got so dark but okay um, so he's like, surprisingly, because you take so much medication that really could like affect your liver and things like that. I'm going to try and put that light on, see if that makes a difference. I don't know. Um, you know, it's really, really surprising that all of that is kind of happening. Uh, so he did say, though, that the bad news is that I have a really low, I think it's a hemoglobin count off the top of my head, um, basically red blood cells. There is an issue with my red blood cells in like my bone marrow. It's one of those things that can be like an easy fix or it could be like terrible. It's like, it's either a vitamin deficiency or it's like <laughs> leukemia or something ridiculous. Like, so there are lots of different reasons for that. And it really rang a bell with me because I was thinking like, I'm pretty sure I've heard this before. And I was like, I think I've had tests for this before and had like the same results. I wasn't 100% sure. He didn't really explain what he meant. But then when he gave me the script, because he said the easiest thing to do is get like the injections for the vitamins and then see what happens. Because if that fixes it, great. And if it doesn't, well, then something's seriously wrong. And then I realized when I got the script that it was actually like B12 is what he was talking about. And I was like, I've had B12 injections before. When I was living in Melbourne, I had um, B12 injections. So that was really interesting, actually. Really, really interesting. Now my computer's just frozen and now I'm in this like state of constant darkness. Um, so I was like, yeah, cool, B12. And I was like looking up like the red blood cell like deficiency and trying to work out like what that was about. And I really think that that's what's going on because... Over the last, like, I was doing really, really well about, like, a couple of years ago. There we go. And then, like, I started to experience some really, um, like, strange, I guess, symptoms that were really kind of common to me. But, like, I'm used to having them. So that's, uh, that's why I think they flew under the radar. But things like um, heart palpitations, like shortness of breath... Uh, dizziness and fatigue like I'm really really dizzy and I just put that down to like low blood pressure and fatigue I was like well I'm just fatigued all the time that's just like who I am that's just my depressed PMDD shitty life where I'm just constantly in a state of fatigue and shortness of breath like whatever anxiety heart palpitations anxiety like the whole thing and I think that's why it's really important to make sure you get everything checked out something like anemia never really popped up for me because I have like a hemochromatosis gene, which basically means that my body doesn't process iron. So my iron levels are always like really, really high, despite the fact that I need a lot of meat. I don't have like iron supplements. I didn't realize that there's many different forms of anemia. 
and it's not just about your iron like um if your red blood cells are not being produced in your bone marrow like that's going to cause a whole wealth of different issues so that's basically what's been going on with me and it's really interesting that it can be fixed with some B12 injections. And I think maybe nearly everyone who's who has mental health issues or depression should probably just be taking like a B12 supplement like daily, which I'm going to be doing now. Because obviously my levels have depleted in the past and I imagine they're going to continue to deplete because I don't eat a lot of meat. I don't eat a lot of animal products. And personally, I don't think unless you were like a caveman or on some crazy like CrossFit diet that you would probably get enough B12 in your diet anyway. And some people just have general issues with like absorbing it. And I imagine that some of the medications that I'm on probably like they're not that good for your stomach. They're not that good for like a lot of your body. Um, but I imagine that they do interfere with the absorption of it, which is like another thing to be really mindful of if you have been on medication for a while. So, and I think B12 is like interesting because it's really like you should be careful with a lot of vitamins that you take primarily because you can create toxicity, you can create a lot more problems. B12 though is apparently like you can't kind of like get too much of it. Like it, it metabolizes really quick, that the half-life in your body and it's like a lot harder to absorb actually so your body excretes it quite quickly as well so they reckon like you can't necessarily like overdose on b12 so that's why i think i mean obviously talk to your doctors i'm not a doctor but i'm gonna just be taking as much like b12 as i can to be honest and i have been taking these probably overdosing on these like particular tablets before i can get my injections but my doctor wants me to get the injections as soon as possible i have the the injections here just not like the um the thingies what do they call them the like needles to like stick them in um but i'm getting that done on wednesday which i think is the quickest way to get them into your body and probably the easiest way for your body i look kind of like half face or something like Scarface uh, what's that guy Two-Face from like Batman is what I look like right now I think sorry about this my computer is a little bitch and I fucking hate it oh hi computer again there we go um just FYI for people who are probably interested how do you get b12 like and things like iron and stuff like in your diet I would probably like a lot of like lentils and things like that um asparagus spinach um a lot of like really high quality grains and meat you know like poultry dairy I mean that's something that I don't really eat a lot of um I don't eat chicken or eggs I have like a slight kind of allergy and tolerance to that so that's something that I really try and avoid and like I'm I just don't really cook meat for myself I don't really kind of have like a stove or anything in my little place so I only really eat meat if like someone else cooks it for me so I definitely yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys because I do think that there is like a probably a huge epidemic um I know that they say like most people in like western countries get enough b12 but i don't really know like if that's true um but yeah it it does cause really depressive kind of symptoms so it's like an easy one i think to like rule out but definitely you know it's important to get those body like checks kind of done as well um especially when you are taking things like medication and you do have a mental illness that might make you like not eat so properly or have like a lifestyle that's not like the healthiest um and if you can rule out those underlying issues as well like I'm not saying b12 is like deficiency is the reason that I have like completely depression and bipolar or whatever but um, it is something that's exacerbating my symptoms and me constantly going, I'm depressed and I can't fix my depression. It's treatment resistant. What I have been experiencing is different to any type of depression I've felt before. So I knew that something else was kind of going on. I didn't really know what. I just thought maybe like the universe is just punishing me for something. I don't know. But that's what I found out what's going on. I think it's really important that everybody, um, you know, checks that out take the advice from this video and it might be nothing it might not be um something that's affecting you but if it is it's a pretty easy fix so you've got nothing to lose so check it out 
subscribe to my channel, my YouTube channel, because it's amazing. And peace.